Okay, so in an effort to do more electronics projects, I've assembled a small toolkit here that has the basic necessities in a toolbox that can hopefully accommodate some growth. So as I get additional components, as I add additional tools to the kit, hopefully everything can stay right in this box and everything will be neat and tidy and ready to go. So uh, let's get into it and I'll show you what I got. All right, right off the hop, we got some of the most critical parts uh, and tools. Uh, you got your multimeter here. This is probably gonna be one of the first things I'm gonna upgrade because it's kind of a shitty cheap version, but this one does the job for now. The next part is a soldering iron. This is a digital temperature control soldering iron. Um, I think it was maybe 70 bucks or something like that on Amazon. Again, not super expensive, high end. We're talking basic kit here, okay? Got some solder, uh, flux core. This stuff's pretty good. It's, it's, it's worked out well so far. Um, got a little triple hand or double hand or I don't know what this is called but I don't use the magnifying glass but the little clamps definitely help to hold wires and stuff in place. Got a little uh, PCB board holder. I uh, haven't worked up the courage to solder that yet. Maybe one day I got one of those just in case. Uh, wire stripper. You know, pretty self-explanatory. A couple of side cutters and some random, I think these are jeweler's pliers. Now I've replaced screens on iPhones before, um, which is a lot of fun if you've ever tried it. Uh, so I've got some tools that I've got from uh, iFixit, I guess, to open up the components and things like that. Some tweezers, um, another little set of wire strippers here, a little set of tweezers. Um, again, some more specialty bits for opening up phones and whatnot. Uh, this is kind of cool actually. Well, so get into this here quick. Uh, just some precision screwdrivers. Nothing, nothing fancy. Uh, yeah, this right here. Uh, magnetic mat. This has been pretty critical, especially when you're taking apart components from a cell phone, for instance, that have very small, tiny screws that have different sizes. So I got this from iFixit. Um, yeah, just keep it organized when you're starting to take things apart so you can put everything back together again. It's kind of handy. Shoot that off the side here. So that's pretty much it for the tools. Um, the rest of this toolbox is, uh, there's three drawers on it. And right now I've got some drawer, oh, well, okay, here's the last one. This isn't really a basic tool, but uh, I've got this little ferrule sort of clamp deal. Um, yeah, let's not, this isn't the basic tool. <laughs> I was getting a little over ahead of myself here. But, uh, yeah, sure, we got got some, what is this, uh, heat shrink. Those are some pretty pretty narrow gauge wires. And um, small, tiny, whatever. I don't, I'm not going to use that. <laughs> um, okay, so the drawers, I've got a small um, organizing tray inside here. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to keep it in here for now and we'll see if this needs to change. And then the other two drawers are basically just full of components at this point that I've gathered up. Um, there's nothing really nothing really to show here. It's just a bunch of wires and, and things like that. So um, again, as this kit grows, I'm planning on potentially reorganizing these drawers um, and, and making them a little bit more functional. But right now, just all my electronics items have been gathered up and put into one spot. So um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Basic kit. And um, if there's anything that you think I'm missing, Throw it in the comment section. Anything, any crit critical elements. Uh, actually, one thing that I'll probably do is build up um, uh, some sort of a smoke um, filter or something like that because, uh, yeah, unless you're doing it in the ventilated area, soldering can get kind of smoky. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Pretty short video. Thanks for watching.